So I have this gaming computer here with me today that I just recently put together a few days ago. Now it is a budget build and it's for a flip to hopefully make your boy some profit. It's featuring a Ryzen 5 1600 and a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card. Now in this video, I will also build two other budget gaming computers under $500 and I actually end up flipping a higher end computer with an RTX 3070. The profit's pretty nice on that one. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm Elijah and this is a series I started that has a pretty big end goal in mind. I want to flip PCs until I buy a house. But let's be realistic, we're not buying a house in cash doing this, we have a down payment goal of $15,000. Now in the last episode of this series, we sold a total of three different computers. The first PC had a Ryzen 5 2600, GTX 1070, and it was inside a fish tank style PC case. The second and third gaming computers were actually old Dell Optiplexes. They had sixth generation i7s, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and I upgraded them with SSDs and GTX 1050 Ti's. The total profit from last episode was $400 $113.19. So that brings our down payment amount to that $2,800 mark. Now I already got this computer benchmarked, got some pictures taken of it, and it's been on Facebook for a few days, and I've actually gotten a couple messages already. Before I talk to you about that though, a quick word from today's sponsor, and I actually use them all the time when I'm flipping PCs for profit. This video is sponsored by Super CDK. If you've built a gaming PC before, you've probably seen that watermark that's telling you to activate Windows. Or if you flip computers for profit, then you need to activate those builds as well. Instead of overpaying for a retail key, visit Super CDK down below. They have Windows 10 keys for as low as $17 and Windows 11 keys for as low as $22 when you apply the discount code SPLA. Whatever Windows version you end up going with, the discount code will save you at least $5. Once you get the key, activating it is super easy. You just copy and paste it into your window activation settings click activate and bam, you got rid of that watermark. Thank you Super CDK and be sure to check out their links in the description. Let's quickly go over the performance of this build because I'm quite surprised with it. Then I'll tell you how much it cost me to build and how much I should profit from it. I tested this computer in three simple games. In Warzone at 1080p with the recommended preset, I played Resurgence and we averaged 79 FPS and had a 1% low of 49. Overall, it was pretty smooth. Now in Apex Legends, I set it to 1080p with high textures and then all the other settings I set to low. With those settings we scored 116 fps average with a one percent low of 69. nice the final game was of course fortnite i set it to 1080p with performance mode and performance is what we got other than the bad one percent lows fortnite is more cpu demanding especially when you're wanting more frames so i was actually really surprised with this ryzen 5 1600 especially since it came out in 2017. we were able to manage 170 fps average in a bad one percent low of 47. after i benchmarked it i threw together an ad got it up on facebook and shortly after i received my first message hi is this available yes it is could i come take a look yeah where are you located. The second message, the guy actually wanted me to deliver. I got his address. He's about an hour and a half round trip. So I just told him, yo, I'll deliver for 450 and I never heard back from him either. Now my build cost for this computer is right under $300. I listed it at 425, so that's an estimated profit of $125. But to be completely honest with you, I overpaid for this computer by a little bit. That Ryzen 5 1600 was bought in a combo for $127.30 and I shouldn't have paid more than 100 bucks for that combo. We got a B350 motherboard and 16 gigabytes of DDR4. But hey, you live and you learn and Hopefully we still make some profit. I'm gonna let this ad simmer for a couple more days on Facebook Marketplace, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and build another budget gaming computer, and then I will talk to you about the profit from that 3070 PC. Yeah, I sold it a few days ago, actually. So starting off this build, let's talk about the graphics card. I'm actually using an AMD one, and I haven't used one of those in a while. Well, at least in a flip. It's this bad boy right here. This is an RX 6600 that I picked up in the last episode for $110. Now I actually got it in a combo deal with a few other parts that I'm using in this computer as well. I got a 16 gigabyte kit of RAM here. It's clocked at 3000 megahertz and this was either 15 or $20, but the exact price will be up on screen. Also in that combo, I got a CPU. It's already in the motherboard that I'm using it with, but it's an i5-8400 and this was $25. Nice little six core processor. Should make a great little budget gaming PC with this RX 6600. Let's go, baby, everything still works. For this little test bench here, I was using this Antec 650 watt power supply, it's 80 plus bronze, and that's the one I'm gonna use for this computer. Now I'm just grabbing the last couple parts for this build minus the case. We got some black and white cable extensions. These were on sale, I think like 10 bucks on Amazon. And of course, I'm going with the good old ID cooling tower cooler here, around 20 bucks. And then for storage, I just got a King Spec 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. Let's build it, baby.
Oh shoot, I almost forgot to install the storage. I like this little King Spec SSD because it comes with an M.2 screw and sometimes, especially building used PCs, I don't have one of these. The last part for this build is the case. It's actually one I've never used before. I've never even heard of this brand before. But this company, Zalman or Zalman or however you say it, they saw my builds on Jawa. They reached out to me and they just said, hey, we want to send you some cases and all we want is to see them on Jawa. I wasn't going to say no to that. They sent me a white and a black one and this is the black one. So my first impressions on this case, honestly, pretty high quality. Doesn't seem super cheap. Has two tempered glass panels. Nice little fish tank design. Looks like it comes with one RGB fan. Lots of mesh out through the back right here. You also have some mesh ventilation on the power supply basement. Well, the build is done. Ooh, it's looking so good. You can see I added an extra RGB fan at the top, one for more airflow and also more RGB. Let's go, I built it correctly. Before I go over my cost for this build, let's install Windows and then play some games on it. I tested this PC with the same three games. First up was Fortnite at 1080p with performance mode. We had a few micro stutters, but it smoothed out and we averaged 187 FPS with a 1% low of 89. Now I tried testing in Apex Legends, but I couldn't even get in a game and I wasn't going to wait all day. This isn't really accurate, but we were going to use all high settings and in the lobby, we were getting around 170 FPS. I bet if we were in an actual match, we would get close to like an average of 100. Finally in Warzone, it's one of my favorite games right now. I played Resurgence at 1080p with all the settings set to high, other than the shadow and lighting settings. Those were at low and with that configuration, we averaged 88 FPS with a 1% low of 50. Okay, I just got this computer listed for sale. Today is June 5th, so let's see how long it takes me to sell it. My total cost for this system was $262.40. Now I did get some parts for free, like I said, that case, but also the motherboard was free and I got it from someone named Animal in my Discord server. I got it from him probably almost two years ago now, at least a year ago now. And I also had to buy a Windows 10 home key that was $15.56 from our sponsor, Super CDK. So that brings our cost to 262.40. I listed it at 525. That's an estimated profit of $263 if it sells for asking price. But now let's talk about that profit from that RTX 3070 flip. Well, here's the computer I sold. As you guys know, it has an RTX 3070. It's a gigabyte model. And for the processor, it's rocking a Ryzen 7 2700X. For the memory, it's 16 gigs clocked at 30 200 megahertz. It also has a one terabyte NVMe SSD, B550 motherboard, and it's all being powered by a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply from Gomdius. Case is the Montec Air 100 ARGB, and overall, I think the build turned out really clean. I threw in some finishing touches with the white cable extensions and the ID cooling CPU cooler. Now my total cost was $638.38, and I actually built two of these systems, basically same exact specs. The only thing different is the motherboards. And I'm pretty sure that difference is the reason we sold this computer. One of the computer has a B450 motherboard and when the seller originally messaged me they sent an offer of $800 which was 75 less than my asking price but then shortly after that they just said never mind I don't want it anymore I don't like some of the parts I simply just asked what parts are you talking about and it was the CPU and motherboard that was causing friction with the sale I really couldn't do anything about him not liking the parts it's not like I was just gonna upgrade the CPU it's just for a flip so I was just gonna text him oh well no worries but instead I just figured I might as well tell him hey man one of them actually has a B550 motherboard and luckily I told than that because that's what made him want to buy it again. I also managed to get away from his lowball offer of $800 and we secured $840 for this computer on Venmo. That gives us a sweet, sweet profit of $209.62. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we were building two budget computers and these are the parts for the second one. They all work, so that's great news. And also more great news, the GPU was free 
and the case was free. I'll tell you how I got these for free as I build it. First things first, I want to give a shout out to someone who goes by the name of Hunter Smith. This guy is awesome. Within the last two episodes, he's donated this ATX case with ARGB fans, and he's also donated a whole graphics card. He gave me this GTX 1660 Super. Now, I did have to take it apart and clean it up a little bit. It was kind of dirty, but hey, a free GPU is a free GPU. The thermal paste was pretty dry and crusty, so good thing I took it apart. Plus, one of the fans had a bunch of hair all in it. Yo, Hunter, is this your hair, bro? Come on and get it. Nah, all jokes. I really appreciate these free parts, man. Everyone watching right now, comment Hunter Smith is the GOAT. Now, as I finish up the rest of the build, I also want to give some more shout outs to other people. If you don't know, I opened a donation page for the series and anyone that donates gets a shout out in the next episode. Plus, we'll get their name on a wall in the new house. First donation is from Jacob, coming in with a little fiver. He said, hi, Elijah. I recently started flipping PCs and I've already sold two flips. I'm saving for my dream car. You really helped me sell my PCs and I hope you will eventually buy this house. Greetings from Poland. Hey, that's awesome, man. If you're watching right now, I'd like to know the specs and profits of those two flips that you sold. Leave me a comment below. Next donation is from Flynn Stewart. He simply donated to remind me I forgot to add the donation link in the description. You a real one, Flynn. Up next is Danny Adderkirk coming in with a fat dono of 75 bucks. This man is a legend. He's donated 500 plus in the past, so big shout out to Danny. He just said, hey Elijah, keep up the good work. I will do my best, my man. I really do appreciate your support. The fourth donation is from Caleb Dyerich, coming in with another fiver. He said, what's up? I've been watching you for a couple months now. The first video I watched was a $200 flip. When I sell the build I'm working on, should I use the money to get a better system or use some of the money for a flip to get that profit? Well, it all depends on what you want to do. If you want to keep flipping PCs, then use that money you make, buy more parts and repeat the process or get a better system. Sounds like it would be a personal system for you. If it was me though, I would flip more PCs, get more profit and then build a sick ass PC. PC. Up next is our boy Justin Tabakri. He said, yo, WAP, me again. This time I'm happy because I got myself a PC. It's got an i5 10400F, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one and a half terabytes of storage, and an Intel Arc A750. It handles very well. Much love and support from me, my family, and of course the cats. Hey, thank you, Justin. Shout out the cats. And if you guys don't know, he's donated not that long ago. And the last time he donated, he said his laptop died on him. So it's super sick to see that he got a new system. It's also got some pretty good specs. I'm happy he got a new build. Congrats, man. Hope you enjoy. The sixth donation is from Nathan Wee. He actually donated two separate times. I think he might have forgot to add the note the first time. He said, I started flipping PCs because of you. I watch your videos all the time. Question, it's $530 good for a Ryzen 5 2600 and a 1660 Ti PC bought for $320. I would say, yeah, that's a great price. Locally, I sell those builds for around $525 and online, I sell them for around $560 due to the fees. Devin Miller is next, coming in with a $10 dono. He said, any relation to Eddie Guerrero? He was my favorite wrestler. Now nah, I'm playing, but I rock with you, bro. Keep up the dope content. P.S. I found your channel through ZTT. I enjoyed the back and forth. You know what's crazy, man? I'm pretty sure I actually am related to Eddie Guerrero. I remember my grandpa telling me a few times we had famous wrestlers in our family, and he actually wrestled too. I'll have to ask my grandpa or mom to confirm though. Hey, man, I really appreciate the support. And yeah, when I called out Zach, that was honestly pretty fun. I would love to do an actual challenge someday. Our eighth donation is from Eric. They didn't leave a note, but Eric, whoever you are, I appreciate the support. And last but not least, is from Austin Lazar. They also didn't leave a note, but hey, shout out Austin. I appreciate the donation. The 10th and final donation, at least for this episode, is from Jackson Jafra. He said, I hate barbecue PSU cables. They look unsigma. I'm from Ohio and I got to fly to the submarine so I can dig to the earth's core so I can find the true meaning of life. Can't believe I just read that with a straight face. But yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> barbecue PSU cables are not it at all. Shout out to everyone that donated. And the PC build is actually done, but man, this thing has been giving me the weirdest problem ever. So first things first, it turned out pretty great and the estimated profit on it is pretty crazy thanks to our boy Hunter. But the problem that it has, I can't sell it with the problem. Let me show you. Okay, the PC is on, now I'm gonna shut it down and it turns right back on. Now I was gonna try to troubleshoot it on my own, but I think it'd be fun if you guys tried to help me. So if you made it this far, go ahead and leave a comment down below what you think is wrong with this computer and what troubleshooting steps I should take to try to fix it. The full specs are on the screen to give you a better understanding and I've already tried a fresh install of Windows. I haven't got around to updating drivers, but I've also unplugged the power button because I thought maybe it was stuck. None of those things work, so yeah, go ahead and drop a comment. In the next episode, that's where we'll start off, and I hope your advice helps me out. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that, and if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and smash that like button. And if this is your first time ever watching this series, go ahead and click here so you can watch season one, or you can click here and you can watch the last episode from season two.